What's up, guys? What's up? I'm going to do a quick video because we've got a big announcement from Blizzard today, right? We've got a big announcement. And I want to share my thoughts. So this is going to be a different video. Also, for you guys, and only on YouTube, this is probably the first time I think that you'll see my room. But I want to share my thoughts on the whole announcement of, you know, StarCraft not having any more content updates. Because today on the 15th of October, actually... I mean, for us, it's the 16th. It was it was released on the 15th. Um, right about when I went to bed, right, I remember. Um, but I saw it this morning. Um, we got the update from Blizzard that StarCraft is not going to get any more content updates, no co-op or war chest. And I see people react to it in different ways. And the first thing I want to say is that, of course, this is big news. This is... Also very scary as like someone who wants to make, you know, like career money, like his living off of this game, right? And of course, people are like, like distraught. People are sad. People are scared. And I want to share my thoughts on that because as someone who's been in this scene, like who has been playing StarCraft 2 for 10 years and who has been in this scene for... Um, like who's been playing StarCraft 1 before that, who's been actively in this scene for like three to four years and having been through Heart of the Swarm, having been through Swarmers, having been through almost every fucking dead game thing there is. I want to share my thoughts on how I don't think we should be this distraught for long. Right, I get that the first reaction is going to be, oh shit, like what's going on? But um, look, this scene has been around for so long, so long. And like the way people react, it, it just feels weird to me because we all love this game. I mean, most of us love this game and we play this game. We watch this game because we enjoy it. Right. And of course, for like the people like like me, but even more people who have been like even more dependent on this seen like financially for longer of course it's scary but how do i put this like for for most of the community nothing will change we will still have esports for like minimum the next two years it doesn't mean that esports is gonna stop but also i personally feel like going away from blizzard isn't the worst thing like, our viewership is not the biggest, and I don't think anyone ever had, like, big hopes. Or, like, like of course, there's some hope that we, like, increase and grow, which we have been as well. But I don't think anyone was ever like, yeah, let's fucking be the first game, like, the biggest game again. And we don't need to be. This game is not m meant to be there. And if we... The, the big difference between StarCraft and, like, most other niche games is that, well, yeah, we have an astronomer astronomical amount of money compared to something like melee which i also follow which i also play which i also love and just the fighting game and scene in general and melee has been around for so fucking long and it's still big and the top streamers and the and the content creators still get so much like still are in a really good spot financially and i just don't see how we can't do the same thing. Of course, now we have been spoiled. We as a scene have been f so fucking spoiled about shit and so fucking spoiled about like how much money we're getting. And a lot of people will leave. Um, a lot of pros will have to stop being pro when esports stops, which is in fucking two years. In two years, we still have like like two and a half years, two and a quarter years to go, right? Like, come on, guys, what the fuck? Um. But even then, like, this is the spot now where, like, we as a community and we as, a, like, the content creator, creators and shit can, like, create something out of this. Because if other scenes, scenes can do it, like, from sheer passion and, and, and sheer, like, creativity, like, the melee scene can can create a community that, that people can sustain themselves off of and that people can, like, spend their lives doing, which is... Apparently, a goal that we have, right? It doesn't even have to be a goal, but then it's a, that's a different story. Then why shouldn't we be able to, right? And which is why I started the video saying that I don't think it's a, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that people, of course, are like sad right now because holy shit, this is big news and this is 
this is just like scary and and sad and for like the core players this is horrible and annoying and stupid but as a community we can do so much and it's always been a weird thing in starcraft like in this scene where like we didn't have that many content creators and most of the content creators we had were also hired by blizzard as like for example casters um but all but content creators have been coming up Hasim has been an amazing example of like how big you can get and that you can still actually like grow on, on youtube because damn and, and it's just it's it's about the community now and for me personally for me personally that's a good thing for me personally the fact that we we not we we have to prepare now to not be dependent on blizzard anymore is a fucking amazing thing because i don't want to be dependent from that company of that company rather i don't i don't want to like fuck no like there has been so much bad pr and so much bad shit and from and from the outside perspective when you when you look at it most people already thought we were dead for the for the longest time shit is not going to change about the about the situation if we don't let it that's what i don't understand like shit is not going to change when we as a community don't let it change I mean, of course, like a lot of people believe because of co-op and a lot of people believe because I guess they want patch notes like more often or something. I don't know. Um, but the game is an amazing uh, position. The gameplay and the level of games we have been able to watch is great. The game feels amazing to play. Um, and I just don't see why, why things would have to change. Um, if we... If we are, I mean, of course things are changing, but like, like on a like bigger scale, like on as big of a scale as people make it out to be right now, because let's, again, we now have two years as a community to create something. We have basically a deadline for a project we can work on. And I think we should use that. I think I think we should use that as a community. I think as a community we should be like this is it. We can make this happen. And I think that's what I want to end this little rambling on. And now this is like a little bit of a different video. I just I just want to let my thoughts out there because I feel like now that like my YouTube is like a little bit grown, like a tiny bit and and I'm going to talk about this on stream later on as well. Um I'm going to upload this right now. And I'm going to talk about this on stream right before the qualifiers, because they are the fucking qualifiers, of course. Yay. I'm going to perform well. Everyone is going to perform well after these news. Actually, everyone is going to perform badly. This is my chance. But, um, so see you later on stream. And yeah, I just, this is our chance to finally become a grassroots community that can actually create something without the fucking support of a horrible, horrible company that Blizzard, Activision Blizzard now has become. So I would want to look at this that way. So guys, thank you all for watching the video. Um, see you guys in the next videos. I'm not going to stop making videos for a long time. And see you guys on stream. Wish me luck on the qualifier later on. Thanks for listening to me ramble about the scene and everything. Love you all. Peace.